What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you a little bit of Pro Tools 9. Of course, today I'm going to show you what the difference is between stereo and mono. What are they and what do they do? What's the big difference? You know, as a little kid, I never really understood the whole stereo to mono thing. Um, I remember like cassette tapes would have them and like boom boxes and I would press the button like mono and then I hit stereo. And I never quite understood that because I guess that maybe I just didn't have the ears for it then. But anyway, now stereo is a big deal because stereo actually means both two things, two inputs or outputs, doesn't really matter, but it's two separate things. It's left and right. That's what stereo is. Mono means you're getting that same signal on both sides, but it's the same exact thing. It's just right in the center. That's what mono is. It's just one signal. Even though you might have left and right, you're getting both left and right, but it's just one signal combined that you're getting into both of those sides. Anyway, let me, let me kind of uh, break it down for you guys. Open up your Pro Tools session so you, can, so you can kind of follow along with me. I have one already set up. Um, so I've got mine fired up here. I have a couple different tracks open with a song on it. It's um, the same song. Now, check out what I have here. I have Audio 1 and Audio 3, which are two mono tracks. And Audio 2 down here is a stereo track. Now these are very, very different. But at the same time, they can be kind of similar. So, for, well first off, how to open them up is go to the top um, to track, go down to new, and that's going to open up this this new guy, this little window guy, new tracks. From here, you can uh, it's by default it's already mono and audio track. You can hit the plus sign and open up a new one, and we can hit stereo. You can hit um, type in how many you want, but that's how you open up uh, an audio or, or um, a mono versus stereo track. Okay, now let's focus in on the actual meat and potatoes. Okay, mono, like I said. Let's take a listen to this audio three by itself. So I'm going to solo it. And by default, it, it should be at middle, center. OK, so let's take a quick listen. I'm sorry, you know what? Let me open up a uh, master fader track really quickly, and this, this will kind of help as well. Um, master Fader, whoop, did I open up a mono? I sure did. Let me, uh, let me delete that. I want a stereo, I want a stereo uh, master track, because the master track gets everything that all the tracks are getting. So, um, and it'll visually help uh, show what I mean and what I'm about to explain. Okay, now that I have the master track open here, let's take a listen. And we're going to take a listen to, like I said, we're taking a listen to audio three here. And we're going to take a look visually at master fader one right here on the right hand side. Okay, now watch the levels. Now, again, it's stereo, it's both left and right. Okay, as you can hear, you're getting the same thing from left and right, and visually you, it confirms the master track is getting both left and right, because you can see that the, both the meters are exactly the same the entire time. There's no differentiation between the two. So it is exactly the same signal. So that's why mono means one, because it's just one signal going on both sides. Now stereo is two separate things. So um, usually when you like, sometimes you record acoustic track, or I mean acoustic um, guitar, uh, if you want a stereo sound from that, you're going to have to set up two microphones, a both left and right microphone, because they're two separate tracks. Now a stereo track, uh, this guy, Audio 2 right here, it's a stereo track, but it's two mono tracks, basically it's two mono tracks combined into one. So let's take a quick listen. And let's solo this guy, and then we'll take a visual aspect look at the master fader, okay? Okay. 
Okay, now as you can hear, you can kind of hear that, gu that guitar part is really, really mainly on that right side. And, uh, but you still, you're still hearing things like the drum and the bass on the left side. So the stereo, you can hear a difference. They're both completely different. Now, um, what I do want to explain to you is the, a mono track, two mono tracks, if, can be used in a stereo sense. Just because it's not a stereo track, that doesn't mean you can't get a stereo result. Now, what I mean is, like I said before, these two audio three, audio one and audio three tracks um, are both mono, but we have the ability to pan them. So if I pan this one all the way to the right, and then the audio one track, this track right here, all the way to the left, it's already all the way to the left, this can create a stereo sound because they're two different elements. So let's take a listen. I'm going to solo both of these. I'm going to unsolo this one. And let's take a listen and visually take a look at the Master Fader track on the right hand side right here. Okay, now you can hear that, right? The guitar is still on that right hand side, but we're using two mono tracks. So mono can be simply one signal, you're getting the exact same thing on both left and right. And it, if you combine more mono tracks, which have different things on the tracks, you can make a stereo sound. So let's kind of A and B this really quickly. Um, I'm going to unsolo this guy, and we're going to solo this and play it. Oops. Let's uh, give it a mono. This is a mono sound, which is in the very center. That's mono. Now if I simply pan it to the right, that's a stereo sound, simply because there's more on the right-hand side than the left-hand side. So there you guys go. I hope that kind of basically gives you more knowledge about the mono versus stereo because you need to understand these, these fundamental things when you're going in to record things because uh, you might get confused of, should I use a stereo track? Should I use a mono track? Does it matter? Um, well, it can matter and it cannot matter at the same time. So there you guys go. If you do have any other questions, please visit our website first, mahalo.com slash Pro Tools 9, as well as you can type up an email and just send it to me and I'll answer your back. It's uh, requestmahalo.com. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, guys.